Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Thanks for tuning in for my next video. Today it's gonna be just one thing we're gonna look at, but we're gonna look at it the proper way, okay? So we're gonna look at how to write your CSS faster within a Sublime text, okay? So that's the only thing we're gonna cover today, but I'm sure you're gonna be impressed, okay? So let's go straight into it. And today the first thing we're gonna do is actually learn a little bit of Japanese, okay? So no front-end development, CSS, HTML and JavaScript. Today we're gonna learn Japanese. So the first word to remember is Hayaku. Did I say it with a right Japanese accent? Probably not. Uh, let's forget about Japanese and have a look at Hayaku as a, our CSS helper which helps us uh, write CSS faster, okay? It is an extension or plugin for Sublime Text. And once you install it, it gives you pretty, pretty cool options within Sublime Text, okay? So if I jump to my Sublime Text, my CSS style sheet, I can write the CSS the hard way, which would be text uh, or test, opening, closing brackets, then inside of it, padding, write, 10 pixels, uh, position relative. We're gonna give it also some height, 100 pixels and width as well. Width will be 200 pixels, okay? So this is the standard way how you're probably coding at the moment. Maybe not, maybe you've got some uh, Emmet extension installed and you're using that one, but I wanted to show you how powerful Hayaku is, okay? So let's uh, see how we could write the same thing with Hayaku. And there are two ways how to use Hayaku. One is the super fast, the magician way, and then there is the standard front-end developers way. So I'll first show you the magician one, and all you have to do for that is just to say the word Hayaku. Okay, and you see we've got a, the same thing written. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was the super fast magician way and now let's uh, be a little bit more serious and do the front end developer way, okay? So we'll get rid of the magic code <laughs> and we'll create our own again. So again, we could write test as the class we're targeting and then we could press command and enter which would create the opening closing brackets for us. Okay, so that's the first benefit of using Hayaku, that the command and enter shortcut just writes the opening closing brackets straight away and jumps uh, in the in between. So one, one uh, first tip is uh, definitely command and enter just to create the, the brackets for you. So command enter, I'm in the middle of the class and then I can start writing my padding right. But all I can do is just PR and hit tab, okay? That gives me the padding right. Cool, 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 I can hear you. Then you can say padding right 10 and expand it and that writes the pixels there for you, okay? If you would want to have that in M's, so you would go M in here. So you got PR 10 EM and hit tab tab is the trigger which triggers that extension or ex expands that uh, shortcut, the, the abbreviation and uh, writes the CSS for you, okay? So we've got padding right, so let's keep it the same as our previous example. So PR10, hit tab, we've got a padding right. For position relative, we could, obviously you think PR would be the same, but that actually padding right, okay? So we can't use PR, but we can use P colon, Ah, okay, and that's it. So same similar thing. So position relative, then we could go height and just hit tab. That gives us hundred percent is the default value for every height and width. So we could just replace the person with pixel with pixels. Command R, jump to the next line. So as you know that if you hit enter here, it brings the semicolon as well. But if you hit Command R, you jump out of that line of CSS to the next one. And again, we could go with and tap, change this to pixels and we are set, okay? So pretty cool, you see how quickly, oh, actually stuff this up. So I wanted to make this 
as uh, 200 so to keep it consistent alrighty so very very simple as you see uh, there is more words uh, which you can expand from the CSS declaration so go through uh, the table of content on the github page and that gives you more indication what cool stuff you can do with it as I said what I like the most is the command and enter just to expand things so yeah if I've got another class test two command enter and start writing in here okay the that's that's one of my uh, live servers or the, the things I use the most another really really handy tool is to increase the value in here so in, if I wanted to change this to 12 or 13 or 14 I would have to manually type it in 14 and what if I want 15 again I would have to select it and hit 15 but there is a cool shortcut within Hayaku which lets you cycle through values okay so I can just be at the end of any any line of CSS and hit alt and up and that circles through the values within that line of CSS okay if I also hold the shift at the same time it jumps by 10 so you probably know this from Firefox uh, Firebug or the web developer tools in Chrome so having shift pressed it goes by 10 and having uh, just the alt pressed it goes by 1 okay so it goes doesn't go to negative values but uh, you can circle through these values as you as you know it's it's very handy if you want to fine tune things and also let's say you've got a declaration which is a border radius you've got couple lines actually one thing i forgot if you hit alt command and down it circles through the values by decimal point so it re removes or adds 0 0.1 okay another cool thing especially when you're fine tuning things so uh, the other thing was the border radius so let's say we had a border radius uh, 10 and as you know that's another extension expansion from Hayaku so I just typed in BR, BRA so border radius 10 and hit tab and it gives me that uh, webkit uh, prefix there as well and then we can select the both lines so I can just hit command and D command and D twice and now I'm selecting both lines and the same thing would apply so if I hit alt I cycle through the values by one for both lines okay so that's the benefit of having the multiple cursors and shift cycles through them up and down okay so you can see how this is very handy when you have multiple values and especially when you're dealing with uh, vendor prefixes you don't want to change this manually here manually there copy and paste copy and paste you can use this uh, command and D to select both lines and then cycle through the values and add uh, add the value to the desired one okay so hopefully that uh, helps you to get the understanding how Hayaku works and uh, what you can do with it and how it can speed up your CSS that's it for today hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next week. Bye.